Yes, indeed, I would add a fourth dimension to everything that you see that would define and focus and reveal the true nature of what you see. That would be the glory of God. For all things are not only seen as good or bad, frustrating or delighting, but when you add the fourth dimension to the glory of God, things that don't make sense begin to make sense. Things that are dull and hard begin to shine and lose their weight upon your shoulders. For this you are architected to see. You were made to see it. You're ready for it. But let this define the end of the matter. For the glory of God is not a blanket to cover everything, but it brings out what's going on and lights up what's really happening. And that I would open to you and cause you to pursue it, not to confound you or frustrate you, but to lead you around the corner. That's what's happening. That dimension will light it up. That dimension will clarify it. That will strengthen you where nothing else will and give purpose to what might seem as drudgery. To the glory of God, it unveils the, re the reality of what's going on. It's for you, and it's for now. Know and understand, I have prepared a seed bed in each of your places. And things you thought you planted before and they just wouldn't take. You're going to go back and this seed bed is going to be eager and ready and waiting for what you're going to give them. For I've heard your debates. I've heard your heart cries. What is going to happen when I can't pick up the mantle anymore? Well, there's a seed bed. It's eager, ready, prepared, and I will cause it to grow in my time as you pour out. As you take a little risk and just get real so that maybe it chokes you up and maybe others choke up but every seed bed needs some water too but I will give great fruitfulness for you've dug and listened and dug some more and dug and you shall find a whole new crop out there just waiting to be take up your mantle and take it farther than you could possibly run it. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We receive that. We receive yes. That. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. It is not a happy coincidence that three of my servants turn 80 this year. That Moses was 80 when his time in the wilderness came to a conclusion and the work to free my people from bondage began. Or that Caleb was 80 when he said, give me that mountain. Amen. As my people were brought into their inheritance in the promised land. And I have given you promises. I have spoken to you in the quiet place in the difficult place, in the confusing place, and you have chosen to investigate. You have taken off your sandals. You have stood on holy ground when there was no one there to stand with you. In the lonely night, in the quiet hour, and I've heard your prayers, I've seen your tears, and I am answering, I am moving. Do not be afraid to look in the inconspicuous place. Do not be afraid to look in places others would overlook because I'm bringing answers to those prayers from places you would not have guessed. The natural eye would not see. The natural resources would not typically flow from. I have been moving. I am moving. I am not done. It is not complete yet. The promised land is at the doorstep, and I am taking you through. Amen. Lord, you. Uh, quick in the scripture that we're all familiar mm -hmm. with, that he gives exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. And the Lord uh, 
quickened to me that it's important to keep asking and thinking. And in light of Pastor Phil's message, to keep investigating and exploring what he might do. And what his promise is, is that he will do exceedingly, abundantly, above all of the seeds of the asking and the thinking. Those are seeds that you plant before him in the garden of the Lord, the garden of his kingdom. You ask, you think, you investigate, you explore, but then he blows you away. Thank you, Lord. And I believe that's a promise. And you can attach it to the things you have been asking or thinking, but he doesn't want you to stop asking or thinking. Keep on going. Keep on going one foot in front of the other, persevering regardless of age. Continue.